In this video, we're going to introduce you to theme management on a WordPress multi-site network. We'll be covering things like network activating themes, how to install themes, where you delete themes from, and being able to implement themes uh, on a site-by-site -site basis. So let's get started. I'm already in the network admin dashboard, as you can probably see. And from here, I need to go into themes. And it's a little bit different, this themes interface. It looks like the old uh, style of theme interface that if you've been using WordPress for a little while, you would definitely remember. Other than that, perhaps the first thing you might notice is up the top, we've got all enabled and disabled. So basically, if this is your first time looking into themes on a WordPress multi-site network, uh, you may or may not know that when we need to manage themes across multi-site, you actually need to, in a general sense, disable or enable for the entire network at any one time. And that's why you can see here we've got 2014, uh, network disable is what we can see under that. And for 2013 and 2012, we've got network enable uh, under those two. So if, for instance, you wanted to enable 2013 or 2012 across the network, you just click on network enable and that then enables it. So it's really straightforward, but what that will actually do is it gives every website across that network access to that theme. So as you can see, it's here. Uh, but if you wanted to be a little bit more particular on what theme is available on what website, you can definitely do that as well. It just requires a little bit more work uh, that will sort of go against the idea of managing everything from one central location. So what you can do is actually go into the sites menu and find the site that you want to activate a specific theme on. So I'm just going to use the main site now. And we just go through to the themes tab. As you can see, only 2013 is available to be enabled here because as it says at the top, network enabled themes are not shown on this screen. So what we can actually do because this isn't enabled on the network is enable it. And just to show you that this works, what I'll do is we will open this other websites dashboard up. So rather than the network, interface and then we'll go through to themes. You can see we've got 2014 and 2012 that are activated and that's just because we've already done that as you probably remember. So I'll come back into the network dashboard now and we'll enable this 2013 theme for the main website and we'll just go back into the themes page there and refresh and there you go we can see 2013. So that's how you can enable themes for the entire network or you can also enable them on a site-by-site -site basis. Of course, if you run a large, large, large multi-site network, it can get a little bit messy uh, depending on how you really want to get down to managing the themes uh, and where you can actually install them. But, you know, the functionality is there. So if you ever do need to use it, you can. As far as actually disabling and deleting themes, the process is basically the same. So you can come back into the themes area in the network admin and say, for instance, you want to disable 2012. So you would just click on network disable. And then of course, if you wanted to delete, you can just naturally click on delete just the same as you would at any time. You can still actually delete themes even if they are active on another site in the network. So just bear that in mind uh, that depending on your network, if there are other people running various sites, you may not know uh, if the theme that you're going to delete is currently in use. So just use this feature with caution. But that's really all that you need to know to effectively manage uh, themes on a multi-site network. Uh, if you have any questions about this or anything we've done, uh, please feel free to just ask in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you.